the formidable robot. Remember the weird memories you had as a child? Have you ever seen any certain kids show touching on serious and or fucked up topics, or taboo lost media that should not be seen by the public? Or that you experienced something that never happened nor existed in this universe? Yet these questions were odd and complicated. If you answered these bad boys, you're in for a perfect ride. I don't know what Disney has up their sleeves. Yes, I've read stories after stories on why Disney has dark secrets and moments behind our childhoods. Not to mention this problem affected one show on Disney Junior, The Line Guard. It's a 2016 to 2019 spin-off to one of my favorite Disney franchises of all time, The Lion King. This show had the typical and wholesome adventures from any other kids show, like SpongeBob SquarePants, The Land Before Time TV series, and My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Now, with that shit out of the way, let's get into this story. There was a season 2 episode of The Lion Guard that is least known to the public, called, The Void Lens. This episode was originally aired once on October 17, 2017 as a Halloween special, like season 1's Beware the Zimli. Sadly, this episode was lost media and was replaced with the Yukumbushal tradition, which aired on October 27. Nobody on the internet has ever talked about this episode since, including the Lion King fanbase. I was the only one who knew about this episode and how I found it, so I'll give it a rundown. After I left high school, my friend gave me a USB stick and said I could possess it. The stick was a black and red SanDisk 128GB cruiser blade model, and it contained special files my friend had downloaded. I thanked him and went home to my bedroom. I booted up my old PC and plugged the USB stick in. It contained some interesting files. There are folders like documents, music, pictures, and videos. The documents folder is nothing important, it's mostly filled with random essays, stories, and the like. In the music folder, it had songs like Rolling Stone's Start Me Up, Coldplay's Paradise, Madonna's Ray of Light, and so much more. Pictures, again, contains nothing important, it's just photos of landscapes, buildings, my friends' cats, and hell, even random memes I may find hilarious and awesome. Lastly yet interestingly, the videos folder. It consisted of subfolders leading to YouTube videos, viral clips, meme videos, DVD rips, etc. I checked out the DVD rips folder, which had movies and TV shows encoded from DVDs. There are subfolders of Disney movies like The Lion King and Toy Story, DreamWorks movies like Shrek and Madagascar, and even episodes of SpongeBob, The Simpsons, and Danger Mouse. That's when I came across a folder called, The Lion Guard. I looked at the folder, and it had three seasons. However, I checked the season 2 folder, and what I found caught me off guard. Next to Rescue in the Outlands, there is a new episode that I have never heard of before. It's called, The Void Lens. Being the curious person to watch this obscure episode, I started up the video, and it opened VLC Media Player. As the video starts, it cuts straight to the show's logo, skipping the intro. After Mufasa's deep voice said the show's name out loud, the title appeared under the logo, saying, The Void Lands! As it appeared, Kyan's cheery voice could be heard saying the title out loud. The episode began with the line guards lair at night, with Kyan and Foley having a conversation about what they are going to do tomorrow, you know, typical line guard stuff. Once the talk had ended, Kyan and Foley went to sleep in their separate spots in the lair. Kyan yawns and dozes off, hoping that tomorrow's going to be a normal day for him and the gang, as the screen fades to black. As the screen fades back, it shows Kyan waking up from his slumber, and before he is about to say good morning to his friends, he gasps. He looked everywhere, and no one was there. Foley, Bunga, Beshi, Ono, Makini, Simba, Nala, Kiara and the others were nowhere to be seen, leaving Kain all alone, until he noticed something different about the place and the environment. The pride lens around Kain are completely monochrome, with him being almost desaturated where you could barely see his color. The sky is snow white, and you can hardly make out any clouds. However, the music in this scene is a different story, which didn't fit in a show like this before. I could only describe it as 1970s horror movie ambient music, accompanied by the sound of wind blowing. 
Kain is immediately shocked at the sight, saying that it's just his imagination playing games on him, or the fact that he's colorblind out of nowhere. Furthermore, he decides to shrug it off and wanders around the twisted monochrome fields of the Pride Lens. Fooly! Bonga! Anyone! Where are you guys? Kain cried out. But no one came here for him. He even tried to assure himself that it was a joke, and that was when he saw the silhouettes of both Fully and Bunga from afar. As Kain runs towards the Cheetah and Honey Badger, he stops and gasps. Fully and Bunga were facing back, and they were completely monochrome. Suddenly, the two turned around to face Kain, and he immediately screamed shortly at the sight. The eyes on the colorless Foley and Bunga were plain white voids, staring at Kain with almost expressionless looks on their faces. f fully b b bonga Kain stuttered. What ha happened to you gu guys? What what is this? As Kain asked the duo, Foley began to speak. But what's off about Foley's voice is that it didn't sound like her voice actress Diamond White. It sounded like an uncanny, creepily monotone and electronically altered voice, which didn't fit her character, and it gave me a slight chill hearing that. What's the matter, Kyan? Don't you want to be one of us? Uh, no, no! Kyan nervously answered. This isn't the Bright Lands I was used to! What, what is going on? Please! Oh, Kyan, fully replied. This is not the Pride Lands anymore, silly. This is the Void Lands. Now join us, our lion friend. That was when Kyan ran away in fear of the demented cheetah and honey badger. Foley starts to yell in a much more unsettling tone. Don't let him get away, Bunga. He needs to be part of our society in the Void Lands. Get him. Bunga silently nods before the two chase Kyan. Then Kyan trips on a rock, letting out a loud yelp. As he got up from the fall, he suddenly gasped. He noticed Beshi, Ono, and Makini, but they were devoid of any color and had white voids for eyes, like Foley and Bunga. As Kain screamed and ran away, Foley and Bunga went to the other three. Foley then demanded the others, saying, Get that red-haired lion cub mortals! What are you waiting for? They all nod silently as the group runs after the fearful lion. Kain's legs began to get weak from all that running, causing him to fall and not get up. He sees Foley, Bunga, Beshi, Ono, and Makini walking up towards him. More characters can be seen along with them, Simba, Nala, Rafiki, Zazu, Kiara, and the other animals, all monochrome with white void eyes. Kain tried to use the roar of the elders on them, but nothing happened. Foley then said, Give it up, Kain. There's no use running away from us. You will become one of us in the Void Lands, our little red-haired friend. Now watch this ferocious mortals. She then walks closer to the weak Kain, who is attempting to move from Foley's evil grasp, but to no avail. She puts her paw on Kain's head, leading to his timely transformation. As Foley held her paw on Kain's head, he let out a loud blood-curdling scream. His almost faded colors drained from his body, and his pupils started to disappear from his eyes as they turned entirely white. As the grisly ordeal concluded, it abruptly cuts to Kain in the line guard lair at sunrise, all looking normal, yelling in horror and gasping for air, realizing that it was just a bad dream. Suddenly, he heard Foley's normal voice shouting his name. Foley comes over to Kain, comforts him, and asks him what's the matter. Kain then explains to Foley about his nightmare, detailing every single event about the Void Lens. Foley was stunned at Kain's dream story, and she began to reassure him in her happy-go-lucky tone. Oh, I'm sure you were all right, Kain. Sometimes, we all do have nightmares, and none of them even bother us at all. Come on, there's another adventure waiting for us. Oh, great idea, Foley! Kain replied, feeling relieved. Thank you for keeping me in touch. You are welcome. Foley said as the screen faded to black. Before the normal credits could play, the video abruptly ended. Not only was I unnerved or feeling any dread, I felt confused at the fact that I found this episode that only aired once, and like I previously discussed, no one has ever talked about it online.
It's a good thing I have screenshots saved to this article, but there's no way in hell I would upload the footage to YouTube or Internet Archive due to legal reasons with Disney. My friend has harbored some weird shit on that USB stick, but I don't really know if that's the case. After all, the find was pretty perplexing, so I decided to move on and watch other shows and movies on that stick. Before I conclude this story, I have one more thing to put down. It was on that Disney got away with this episode, and most importantly, what the fuck is up with the writers when producing it for television once?